Returning to our prepared program, I'd like to call Akoswa Albritton, a consultant and reporter for In Our Time Press. Yes, my name is Akoswa Albritton, and I'm a technology columnist for Our Time Press newspaper. How are you, Councilwoman? Now you know what I look like, right? <laughs> and I'm the business owner for Planning to Succeed. I begin by thanking Borough President Marty Markowitz, Councilwoman Gail Brewer, and the New York City Broadband Advisory Committee for knowing how important it is to hear from Brooklyn's families, businesses, and nonprofits about their needs for telecommunication upgrade using broadband technology. It is unfortunate that the public hearing is scheduled for 12 noon to 3 p.m. After 5 p.m., there would be an even larger turnout. While we're debating whether broadband infrastructure is necessary, nations and cities across the globe are laying it down, setting up Wi-Fi and WiMAX. Since 2000, the Intelligent Community Forum and Polytech Polytechnic University present Building the Broadband Economy Awards and Conference. Last week, I met with Julius Timothy, Minister of Economic Development and Planning for Dominica, the Caribbean island, Dr. Stephen Brennan from the Digital Hub in Dublin, Ireland, and very briefly, Sean Bell, president of Mount Hope Housing Company in the Bronx. Mr. Bell of Mount Hope was there because Mount Hope Housing Company was up for the Intelligent Facility of the Year Award. I say Brooklyn must get in the game and in a hurry. Broadband is high-speed, reliable internet service. It is today's communication technology advance the way the telegraph, telephone, and TV were in their day. In 2007, we would think it a waste of time to debate whether people need a phone in their homes, businesses, or institutions. Broadband will become just that common and integral in a blink of an eye. It's happening now. People need fast, reliable internet service in Brooklyn. Broadband relates to the bandwidth or the capacity for the wire or fiber optics to transmit voice, video, and data. Today, people are doing their banking, making purchases, researching, and watching videos on the internet. It's possible to take college courses, talk over the internet, and connect with friends tens of thousands of miles away. In fact, students in America are making friends with students in Australia and Africa by installing a webcam and microphone to a PC. It's as if they're looking at each other through a window. People need broadband because of the use of video to transmit ideas online in real time. Business needs websites, email, and a variety of social media to stay competitive. Media experts say that major advertisers are cutting their TV advertising budgets because more people are using the internet as a trusted source for news, information, and entertainment. People are using search engines to find products and services the way telephone directories were, were used in the 60s and 70s. Small and large firms need to regularly submit their sites to search engines and consider various web marketing to be found, visited, and patronized. Doesn't this sound familiar? Remember when stores relied heavily on flyer distribution. Now it's email advertising. All neighborhoods in Brooklyn deserve this access and at a low price. A working family shouldn't be blocked from getting high-speed, wide bandwidth connection that barrier may keep someone from taking a course to improve her life circumstances or watch streaming video about a medical procedure. New York City Council recently passed, if I'm not mistaken, a resolution to ensure that households in publicly financed housing will be en enabled and that the monthly fee for service would be no more than $10. As for myself, I blog, email, excuse me, I blog, I email, advertise, maintain a website, have a MySpace page, and watch videos on YouTube. I look forward to the next offerings on the internet. Thank you, Ms. Albritton. <laughs> Questions for Ms. Albritton? Do you have, do, could you uh, opine a little bit on why you think our city is so far behind on this issue? That's a very good question. I don't know. Uh, I, as, I was tell, as, as, I, as I was speaking about, um, saying before, I go to intelligent community forums 
um, award, award and com conference every year since 2003. Um, there's an, a little island, Mauritius, Mauritius Island, which is off the coast of Madagascar. They were there getting an award for, one, for, for um, what do you call it, intelligent building. Brazil is involved. Korea, I mean, it's, it's just all over, all over the world, and I really can't answer why. I don't have an answer why Manassas, Virginia has um, broadband over power line. Why is Philadelphia ahead of us? And we are the number one city in the, uh, excuse me, in the United States. We are a world class city, and we should be uh, competitive with any other city, Seoul, Tokyo, uh, Rio de Janeiro. So I really don't have an answer. I mean, other you know, I, 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 other than I guess I don't have an answer as to why we're behind. What what really is I don't because that's that's my question. What is stopping us from being the leader in this? Thank you, Ms. Albert. <laughs> okay. Council Member Brewer. First of all, I want to, uh, I want to just uh, thank you because Councilmember James was here earlier and was really pleased when you walked in. I have a question for you. In terms of the small businesses, because I know that you're involved with a lot of them and you communicate with them, yes. what do you think would be most helpful f for them in terms of broadband? Obviously, a lot of them uh, may or may not have even the hardware. So I was just wondering from your perspective, what would be of most assistance to the small business? Hmm. What would be the most... The, the in assistance? terms of technology. Oh, yeah. okay, because I was thinking about the, the about the financing. No, I'm ter technology. In terms of the technology, I think that they need, um, oh, hmm. I think that WiMAX is very important as well as LAN. And in terms of, um, hmm, they need the ability to do uh, streaming video. Because now the website really has to be uh, much more dynamic besides words and photographs, they really need to be able to demonstrate certain things online. So I think that uh, the, 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 the video aspect is very important. And I think that um, the other thing that would be very helpful is um, hmm, the more businesses, small businesses, have to be aware of the range of social, me social media. I mentioned YouTube, there's photo bucket, the photo bucket there is Goodness, there's, there's so many things. Rise, uh, Zoom Info. Um, there's so many, so many things on Web 2.0 that the average small business is not aware of. So I think the other thing is that they just need the information, and I try to give them that information through my column. But I mean, we need more. I mean, we need more people than the, the more columnists or writers than myself um, um, introducing people, in, introducing people to it. Thank you for all that you do. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.